Before we get into what's going on with the other moving parts there in Arizona, you still have time left on your contract. But apparently you said yesterday on NFL Network that you've been asked to take a pay cut. Are you even entertaining this? Well, you know, I want to be in Arizona. Um, you know, that was a team that drafted me. Um, you know, ever since they called my phone on draft day, uh, I always want to be a part of that organization. And um, even being implemented in their community, trying to be a part of the community, you know, doing things the right way. Um, so uh, Arizona has definitely embraced me. Um, I definitely want to be in Arizona next season. Well, well I, I, you know what? I, I kind of want you there, too, because of the reasons that you mentioned, because I'm so proud of you and everything that you've done. But, my man, I've got to ask you this from a football perspective. I mean, you sound nice about it, but I'm wondering why the hell you really, really want to be there because I'm looking at Arizona. Y'all have missed the playoffs the last two years. Carson Palmer retired. Blaine Gabbert and Drew Stanton are names that have been on there. And then Kirk Cousins is supposed to be somebody targeted, but he's got the Jets and Minnesota and Cleveland and Denver on his list instead of Arizona. What's going on with the Arizona Cardinals, and what do you think makes them an attractive landing spot for anyone at this point in time? Well, you know, I think the last couple of seasons has been tough on the team. Um, but, you know, uh, I'll tell anybody who's trying to come to Arizona, especially guys like Kirk Cousins or uh, anybody in free agency, you know, uh, we have one of the best defense in the league. Um, obviously, we have the potential to score 30-plus points a game on offense. Um, so uh, we just have to uh, use the people, use the tools the right way. And um, if we're able to do that, I think we're able to get, off, get over this hump and um, really correct the things we've done as a team the last couple of years. Tyron, you, you lost your D coordinator in James Betcher to my New York football giants. What kind of D coordinator are they getting? Well, they're getting a great guy. Um, you know, uh, he's a player's coach. Um, uh, he always listens to our input. Um, uh, I, I met with him every Thursday. Um, he always, he was always about his players. Um, he's always looking for our feedback. Um, so uh, they're definitely getting a player's coach. Um, uh, uh, and he had one of the best defense the last three years. Why do you Tyron, think he's gone? Um, well, I'm not sure. Um, I try not. I try to stay out of those kind of things. Um, but um, obviously, everything works out for himself. Uh, and, uh, you know, he's in a great situation. You know, being a de defensive coordinator of the Giants. I got to ask you this question. I got to piggyback off of what you said just a couple of minutes earlier, Tyron. You said that y'all offense has the potential to score 30 points per game. Were those the words that came out of your mouth? Absolutely. Absolutely. Wait, wait, how? How? Well, how, 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 where's that potential? <laughs> well. David Johnson, you know, we missed, yeah. we, we missed him. We missed him all last boy. season. We have Larry okay. Fitzgerald. If, if, I think if we're able to, to get him some help, uh, especially on the outside, we had a lot of receivers that were, that were hurt last year. I think if we're able to get him some help, you know, that kind of opened things up as well. Hey, and, uh, not to Tyron, mention. years yeah. ago there was a great receiver in the league called Larry Fitzgerald. Any relation? Oh, be <laughs> nice. Larry Legend. Come on, man. He's been around a lot. I mean, he's still good, but that's the first receiver you named. Yeah, I mean, he, he, he is, though, but he, he definitely can carry our football team right now. He's been doing that the last couple of years, um, you know, putting up yeah, the numbers he's, he's putting up. And um, so uh, we're able to, to get a quarterback uh, that could definitely come in and uh, uh, help us out and spread the ball around. Um, I definitely think we have the potential to score 30 points a game. When you look at the NFC West, think about the moves that the Rams have made. We see what moves the Seattle Seahawks are making. San Francisco has re-signed Garoppolo, and they're on the upswing. Undefeated with him as their quarterback. Can you tell us why anyone should believe Arizona is not going to finish in last place in the NFC West next season? Well, we're hungry. Um, and, um, you know, I think the way last season ended and the year before that, um, I think our leaders, uh, the veterans on the team, um, we got a bad taste in our mouth. And, um, you know, we're too good for that. We have too much potential. And, um, you know, so it's really time for us to settle back down, get back to the fundamentals, and, um, you know, just get back to having fun playing football. Yeah, and you guys went 8-8 eight and eight last year without David Johnson. Come on, Tyron, you got to answer that a little bit better. Why? What You guys, two years ago, Molly picked you guys to go I all did. the way. I mean, you were the sexy pick, and it's not They're like you, you lost 12 games last year. You're a quarterback away, right, Tyron? Who do you want? Which quarterback Absolutely. do you want on that team? <laughs> Well, uh, if we can get an experienced quarterback, um, I think that'll be ideal. Um, but if we can get a young guy who's very confident, um, uh, who believes in himself, um, and who's in the right system, um, I think we'll have a shot either way it goes. Is there anybody Case particular that Cousins you want? If they're both available. Is, there, is there anybody? Is there anybody particular that you want? Well, I think Kirk Cousins could help us out a lot. Um, I think he has experience. Um, uh, he puts up great numbers in his league. Um, I think he's a great quarterback when he has obviously good pieces around him and. Um, 
anytime you bring a guy like Lamar Jackson or Baker Mayfield, it always brings some excitement to the team, and mm -hmm. I think that's always a good thing. Would you rather a running quarterback like a Lamar Jackson? <laughs> In our division, yes. Yeah. <laughs>